What is the stupidest way you've injured yourself? When I was a kid we had blue carpet in the living room. I had just watched some movie or show where the characters jumped into a painting and I started thinking maybe if I believe really hard. The blue carpet would turn into a vast ocean. So I climbed up on the recliner and swan dove into the floor. I'm a welder. I work with really hot steel parts constantly. But I regularly burn myself on the microwave meals I eat for lunch. Thought I could walk my dog on a leash while riding my bike. Dog saw a squirrel and yanked me off my bike. I broke a few bones in my hand. Doc was like what did you expect would happen? Bending over to pick up a paper bag. A completely empty paper grocery store bag. It was standing upright. Not even laying on the floor. I barely had to even bend down to pick it up. Somehow this triggered a cosmic alignment between two vertebrae and nerve cluster because suddenly I fell to the floor in crippling pain. Could not get my back straight and had to crawl to the living room so I could lay on the carpeted floor and try to stretch it out. I ended up ducked up like this for days and had to have physical therapy to slowly work out the pinched nerve. I was basically walking like Quasimodo for a couple weeks. People would assume I was in an accident or lifting some boulder like Hercules or saving a child pinned under a car. But nope. I was undone by an empty paper bag. To try to get a cheap laugh out of my ex. I threw a hammer as hard as I could at a tree. The hammer bounced off the tree. And I turned just in time for it to hit me in the small of my back. Miracle I'm not paralyzed. Threw a grape in the air to catch it in my mouth. It fell on the floor and I bent down to pick it up and smashed my face into the windowsill. Shot myself in the eye with a nerf gun. I looked into the barrel to see if it was loaded. I was 8. I found my dad's AP pen one day while looking for mouth spray for sore throats. It obviously wasn't what I was looking for but I wanted to figure out how it worked. I ended up shooting the needle clear through my thumb. I then hid the evidence of my stupidity and never told my mom until years later. Riding my bike home in 5th grade slowly alongside my walking friends. Friend. Drew look where you're going Drew. Nah dude I'm good at biking I can do it with my eyes closed friend. No really dude. Look out Drew. Nah man. I'm good instantly crashes into a parked car. Mess up my bike chain. Have to drag my bike home in shame and explain to my mom why my knee and lip are bleeding. Walked onto a manhole cover that was not placed on correctly. Ended up in the hospital and had to, to have three surgeries over four months. Rode a bike with no shoes and no brakes. Stopping with my foot out of habit and skinned the entire top of my foot. I was in the fourth or fifth grade but I jumped down an entire flight of stairs. Landed hard and hurt my foot. Walked on it for a day or two afterwards turned out I shattered my heel and broke my ankle. Was helping husband replace the bathroom fan. So I was standing on the side of the bathtub. I had this plastic hook glued to the shower wall to hang a look at on. I went to get down and slid down the wall and hooked my butt cheek to the wall. It hurt so bad but was also hilarious. I'm in my 40s and this happened recently. Punch myself in the tit while trying to duck around with my sleeves. I don't know how it happens but it happens often. I was pulling a heavy blanket up. My hand slipped off of it. And my thumb, with a longish nail, went straight into my eye. My friend saw a jellyfish on the beach then kicked it. Like on purpose and knowing what it was. They had to go to the ER. Tripped over a storage ottoman trying to jump over it all slick. Got my toes wedged in the latch and broke my foot in two places. I have so many responses to this. My goodness me. Tore a tendon in my finger when tearing a single sheet of paper, knocked myself out by bumping my head whilst on the Eiffel Tower fell off the bed and sprained my ankle whilst trying to remove a moth from my brother's room. Broke my knuckle when I banged my hand against the door accidentally whilst dancing the list is endless. I got out of a long hot shower and noticed a thread dangling off of my shirt. And when I tried to pull it out it just neatly sliced through several millimeters of my finger. It was so minor I can hardly even call it an injury. But getting cut by a shirt is definitely the stupidest I've had. 
Broke my fifth metatarsal in my left foot when my heel slid sideways out of a one and a half in wedge sandal. Cart wheeled on my left foot from the heel to my toes. Landed on my right hip. Three months in a walking boot. I was a dumb kid. I wondered how much it would hurt if I whacked myself in the head with a hammer. It hurt a lot. Showering at a hotel in a small stall with a slippery tile floor. Bent over to wash my feet. My butt hit the tap handle. I slipped. Put my hands out to save myself and violently slammed the glass shower door open. I bashed my forehead and bridge of nose on the tile floor. Had a major nose bleed and a giant goose egg on my forehead. I don't have bangs to cover that up. I thought I had escaped without the black eyes I expected after bashing my nose. But two days later I woke up with deep purple swollen eyelids. Luckily I had packed my seldom used makeup to cover the worst of it and I wore a hat in the daytime. I'm still shocked the shower door didn't shatter when it hit the wall. One time in middle school I was getting ready to head to school. But I couldn't find any pants. When I finally did. I got so excited. And lifted them up really fast as a way to cheer. All of a sudden I felt so much pain in my shoulder and had to go to the doctors. Turns out I dislocated my shoulder and had to wear a sling for the next few days. I can lock some of my finger joints when I want to. You can probably see where this is going, so I was showing someone it and it kinda got stuck there for some time and ended up bruising my knuckle and the finger so yeah. Don't flex. Kids. Got blunt rapiers, basically toys, from a friend that didn't want them. Buddy and I decided to have a sword fight. Did several rounds. And finally he jabbed me. Right next to my eye. And I got scratched and bled a bit. So technically I have gotten cut in a sword fight. I tried to do that thing where you whistle with a blade of grass when I was about 10 or so and sliced the inside of my lip open with the grass. I was separating my eyelashes, because mascara, with a safety pin. Stabbed myself in the eyeball. While working at a restaurant I cut my thumb washing a knife and received a few stitches, not terribly stupid. The stupidest why a few days later, also while at work, I snapped my friend with a towel and I immediately heard slash felt my thumb go pop. My thumb no longer worked, I couldn't bend it no matter how hard I tried. My tendon had severed from the force of snapping my friend with a towel. Surgeons had to open my thumb from top to bottom to find each end of the tendon to sew it back together. What was a small cut turned into a zigzag incision all the way down my thumb and into my palm. Followed by a ton of stitches. Followed by months of physical therapy. It's been over 20 years and I still can't bend my thumb entirely. Also the restaurant declined to put me back on the schedule after my thumb was healed. I was an idiot and couldn't really blame them. My parents told me once that when I was a toddler. I walked straight into a door at my grandma's for no apparent reason and cut my head open. They ended up having to stitch it back together and I haven't been normal since. Blew out my knee walking down three steps in front of my parents house. Had to get my knee scoped. Bent over at the waist picking up a family sized bag of chips of the floor and pulled a back muscle. Over a freaking bag of chips. And my wife's response? Dumbass. When I was 12 I was helping my mum trim our giant mulberry tree. In a moment of great intelligence. I held the end of the branch down with one hand and then cut closer to the tree with the other. The cut branch proceeded to fly up and cut my eye, yup. My actual eyeball. I had to get a ton of stitches on my eyeball and managed to get a fungal infection in my eye from tiny bits of bark that had gotten into my eye. Extending the torture of this injury. Do you know how awful it is to get eye drops when you've traumatically injured your eye? Because of that injury. One eye sees distance well but not close up. And the other eye is the exact opposite. I got glasses about 10 or so years ago but they made my headaches worse and I didn't think they were helping my eyes so I stopped wearing them and didn't bother going for a second opinion. I just finally got new glasses and wow do they make a world of difference. Blah blah. Get glasses if you think you need them because they really do help and not getting them is much worse for you. 1-6 Why only thought that I should put my hand into the Big Mac bun toaster to fish the middle of the bun out. Yep. Still got the scar up my right hand 5 years later. 
Summer after fifth grade I was in the back seat of my parents car going about 40 miles per hour and had my hand out the window making an airplane wing with it. Well. Some too close to the road road sign didn't like this and decided to break my hand. Had a dream I slept through my thesis presentation. Woke up in a panic and jerked my head up. Body was still in sleep mode and did not follow. Ended up with whiplash and couldn't turn my head at all for three days. I was four years old and while in kindergarten I hid behind a door and put my finger in a door hinge. With the objective to pull it out before the teacher closed the door. In my mind it was like a little game. I was stupid. Yes. But I was four years old. No need to say that I wasn't fast enough at pulling out. I didn't lose the finger but it became a little shorter and the shape of it is weird. I fell off the edge of my mom's bed when I was six and my broke my arm when I fell into a tin dustbin. I was pretending to walk the tightrope along the edge of her bed after watching a circus program on the TV. Just bought a brand new 271440p 144Hz monitor. It was sitting beside my bed as I tidied my room slash desk to make room for my purchase. I decided that my mattress could not go any longer without being flipped. Flipped it. Mattress landed on the monitor and in slow motion I seen my monitor get bent in half. I didn't sustain any physical injuries. But that will forever hurt me emotionally. Decided to go head first down a water slide at a resort in Mexico. There is now a sign there saying not to do that. I tripped over a speed bump in a crowded Walmart parking lot carrying a squatty potty and landed in mud. Bawling my eyes out. Twisted my ankle so bad I nearly need surgery and was in physio for a year. It's still not the same. I went over the second floor railing at a movie theater. Just because. Hit my arm on the railing near the bottom. I basically tried jumping on the monkey bars as a kid and forgot I had to use my legs to land back on the ground. I ended up getting a big gash on my head because of it lol. I wanted to balance my scale. I pulled out two 10 pounds. Weights to do so. The weights didn't balance so I abandoned the idea. I was cleaning my apartment and forgot all about the weights until I walked directly into it and broke my pinky toe. I work with plants. Everything from azaleas to succulents. We have big cacti too. About three foot with large spines. I walked into one trying to get a different plant. We spent about six minutes pulling out spines and I looked like a damn pincushion. I dislike cacti. 